slow heart rate affects around 5% of world population and when we say slow heart rate we mean heartbeat less than 60 beats per minute slow heart rate also known as bradycardia bradycardia can be temporary or persistent and what causes temporary bradycardia most commonly it is caused by vagus stimulation vagus is nerve which comes from brain and it innervates our heart and our stomach and different organs also and during vomiting for example vagus stimulation occurs also during bowel movements or just deep breathing and this vagal stimulation causes slow heart rate now let's say what is common cause of persistent slow heart rate sinus bradycardia is the most common cause it's responsible around 35 percent of cases sinus bradycardia means we have no symptom it, it's just variation of normal heart rhythm but heartbeat is less than 60 it commonly occurs among athletes and if person athletic heart his heart is stronger and it beats slowly but what is problem here problem is that such people such athletes have increased risk of atrial fibrillation and this atrial fibrillation itself increases the risk of stroke that's why it's important yes at first glance it's very good if you are athletic and if you are elite athlete and your heart is athlete heart it's very strong but problem is that such people have five times increased the risk of atrial fibrillation and 11 percent of such athletes have atrial fibrillation that's why it's important another common cause of bradycardia is medication induced bradycardia is responsible on 20 percent of cases and beta blockers calcium channel blockers causes bradycardia they also causing hypotension or low blood pressure and if person has symptoms such as fatigue or dizziness it's because of low blood pressure induced these drugs and if person has combined low blood pressure and bradycardia also then need to decrease dosage of such medications or replace with other medication that's why it's important and usually if person will discontinue this medication bradycardia will disappear and third common cause of bradycardia is atrio atrioventricular block atrioventricular block occurs around 10 percent of older adults and one percent in general population so if older person has bradycardia we should suspect of atrioventricular block also because it's serious condition it's type of arrhythmia it has three degree and first degree is light version and third degree is severe version and in case of first and second degree we have no or we have we have rarely have bradycardia but in third degree we commonly have bradycardia that's why it's important so if this block atrioventricular block is serious already we have bradycardia we have also uh, fatigue dizziness or fainting also and what is different this degrees in first degree we have just increased pair interval in second degree we have dropped qrs complex this is qrs complex this is qrs complex here is dropped qrs complex or no qrs complex this is second degree and in third degree we have complete dissociation between atria and ventricle so atria is contracting itself independently from ventricle and one ventricle is contracting independently from an atria they have complete dissociations because here, here we have p wave it means atrial contraction here we have atrial contraction here we have atrial contraction so they are uh, there is complete dissociation for atrial and uh, ventricle contraction that's why it's important and its treatment is pacemaker installation in severe cases also hypothyroidism 
causes uh, bradycardia because the met uh, our body's metabolism is decreased and slows down and we have bradycardia also hypothyroidism is when we have lack of thyroid hormone and in case of hypothyroidism we have, we have increased TSH and decreased thyroid hormones such as FT, FT3 and FT4 and levothyroxine is treatment at this case and ischemic heart disease also can cause bradycardia but we don't mention it because bradycardia here is not important and major symptom or sign and person will not tell you that I have bradycardia or I have slow heart rate and you guys said this person has is ischemic heart disease no because in many cases such person will tell you that I have angina I have pain in my chest I have pressure sensitivity in my chest during exertion and this person will have different symptoms and bradycardia here, here is not major sign that's why we will not focus on it and six sinus syndrome it common among elder elderly people 20 percent of elderly people has this six sinus syndrome it means age-related degeneration of sinuatrial node and it causes slow heart rate also so if person is 80 years old and she's coming to you and saying that i have slow heart rate and no other symptom it's six sinus syndrome in many cases that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now